Hi guys, welcome to UMass. My colleagues and I are excited to show you around today, but let's first start with the sixth floor, the home base for us IM residents. So we start our day with the residency lounge, which is where we are headed right now. So we walk in, we grab a cup of coffee from this coffee station right here, we get the handoffs from the overnight resident, and then we would log in and start our pre-rounding on our patients. We'll always come back to the day, chat with each other and catch up and have lunch together. And then we watch some great shows and we're on night, do some great reading. And that massage chair right there is my personal favorite. This is my co-resident Or. What's hey, going Bishop. on? Hey guys. Where are you headed? So they're gonna have a conference down the hall. I thought we would pop over and take a look. Sounds good. All right guys, just wanted to show you our conference room. This is where we house our morning report, noon conference, and other meetings of the internal medicine residency program. Reflecting on my interview season, I remember that one of the things that attracted me to this program was the morning report. I think both the breadth and complexity of patients that we see here at UMass allows for an interesting and exciting way to start the day. Speaking of starting the day, I think the ICU team is wrapping up rounds right now, so let's head over there and take a look. Hi, I'm Sandy. I'm currently on my ICU rotation. Here at UMass, we have a very robust ICU curriculum. We have really sick patients. We have a lot of liver transplant patients. We have bone marrow transplant patients, which means that we get a lot of chances to do procedures. This is the rounding room. This is where we talk about all the plans with our respiratory therapists, with our nurses, with our pharmacists, and that makes it a multidisciplinary effort. Hello, everyone. My name is Ahmed. Welcome to UMass Medicine Floors. Here we have two kinds of teams. We have the general medicine teams and we have the subspecialty teams. I happen to be the resident on the liver team. Here we are working towards our working stations. What I like about this layout is that we're able to work directly with the subspecialty attendings. For example, I'm the liver's senior resident today and I work directly with the liver attending. How are you doing team? We got a page, guys, from the emergency department. We have a new patient, and we're gonna go downstairs and see him. So right now we're outside the emergency department. They see over 100,000 patients a year. About a quarter of those actually end up being admitted. As a tertiary care center, we actually get a lot of patients who are transferred who need a higher level of care. As a medicine resident, you tend to rotate through the ED twice. So once in your second year, which is your true ED rotation, and then once in your second and third year where you're the triage resident and you see a ton of subspecialty and gen med patients, that really adds to your learning experience. Hi everyone, welcome to the CCU. So we just got an admission from the ED, so let's go talk with the team. Hi, how's it going? So we rotate in the CCU at the second and third year. Here we learn about the management of critically ill cardiology patients. So those with impellas, balloon pumps, uh, LVATs. So it's a great learning experience and you can't beat this view. So Dr. Donahue, are you heading over to the Sim Center for the mock codes? I'm going there right now. I'm so grateful we have this resource for our residents. They get to do the mock codes like you just said. What else have you done with them over there, Dr. O'Brien? Well, I think procedure training is so essential. It's great. I know the pulmonary fellows have been involved with that at the beginning of the year. I know the chiefs help run that. And I've been involved with some goals of care discussion simulations over there that have been really, really Very great. Important. Very important. Yeah, um, I think it's a great chance for them to practice before they get in the wards. Yeah, so the Sim Center is great. I love the Sherman Center. I love their cafeteria. And I also love their gym. Love it. All right, so you go check it out right sure. now. Let's do it. 1,000. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. So this is our gym. It is uh, connected to the hospital. So we come here before and after each shift, whenever you have a little bit of time. We have brand new equipment. We have cardio equipment, weightlifting equipment, just about everything you need for a good workout. Um, so if you're uh, getting a little bit of an appetite like I am right now, well, we're going to take you to the cafeteria for a little bit more. Oh, hey, how was the workout? Heard you worked up an appetite. We're just enjoying our lunch here at beautiful UMass. Yeah, so we actually have two cafeterias, one at the main hospital there, as well as one here at the Sherman Center behind us. And we have a meal card provided by the program that covers it. Don't forget about the three catered lunches we have for conference each week. Oh yeah, something to look forward to, definitely. Uh, most importantly, a Starbucks downstairs for when you need that midday pick-me-up. Oh, got to run to clinic. All right, Luke, see you later, man. See ya. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Benedict Clinic. Uh, this is our primary teaching site for primary care uh, with over 60,000 visits, 22,000 patients, and 30 providers. Uh, it's a really busy place to learn and a wonderful place to learn. Um, meet one of our residents, Lindsay. Lindsay, how are things? Hey, good. It's going well. It's been a busy day, but I'm just going to finish up some notes up in the resident lounge. Great. Great to hear. 
Hey guys, welcome back to The Lounge. Before you go, we want to tell you a little bit about our community sites as well. We also rotate at the Milford Hospital, which is our true community hospital experience. Here, we usually spend two weeks on the inpatient service, one week in the ICU, and one week cross cover as night flow. The Milford Hospital offers a different set of patient population pathology compared to our university and memorial campuses. The hospital is beautiful, and the food here is amazing. Right down the street, we have our memorial campus, which is a mix between a community hospital and an academic center. Here we rotate on the inpatient board service. It's a more intimate learning environment while still having the richness of a variety of consultation services and a wide array of pathology. The close proximity of Memorial to University makes it a very easy commute. We're also excited about our partnership with the VA in helping to improve veteran access to healthcare. A new Veterans Affairs outpatient health clinic is actively being built next to the medical school. It will house 65 exam rooms, consultation and procedure rooms, and offer specialty care in areas including radiology, echocardiology, physical and occupational therapy. The anticipated completion is in the middle of 2021. So we hope you enjoyed your tour today. We look forward to hearing from you. Enjoy the interview trail.